In today's video, we are going to break down this artwork. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Nouria Radwan. I'm a concept artist from Algeria and you are tuned to photomanipulation.com. In this channel, we take you beyond Photoshop basics and into the world of advanced Photoshop techniques. In today's video, I'm going to break down this artwork. But before that, let me talk to you about our new new stock epic overlay bundle. From smoke to fog to fire to rain and all the other elements and they come in both jpeg and png formats so you don't have even to cut them you can just drag them to your artwork and that's it i use them in most of my artworks and we are also going to use it in this artwork that we are going to break down so if you want to download this bundle the link is going to be down in the description if you want to download that and without any further ado let's start with the video first you will see me cutting this uh, model that I found in Adobe uh, Stock and I'm going to leave the links for the stock images in the description down below so you can download them from Adobe Stock if you have a, a subscription there so I'm using the tight brush to cut my uh, models it's just the uh, original uh, default brush of the Photoshop I just go on the settings and make it tight and I drag the uh, increase the hardness to 100% and I just add a mask to the model and I just start paint in the uh, black color on the edges. After I finish with uh, painting on the edges, I go into the mask by clicking and holding Alt and then clicking on the mask and that will uh, bring me inside the mask as you can see. And all I do is I select the magic wand tool and I select the white color uh, outside the black stroke with the magic stand tool like you see uh, the this selection and then I go to select expand by uh, five pixels and as you can see the selection now is inside the strokes just by five pixels and then I click on shift f5 and I fill this white color outside the uh, black strokes with the black color just like that and that will save me time to paint all over this white area and here I'm just fixing the other uh, leg because there was a plant uh, covering it. I just uh, selected the uh, left leg and I duplicated it and applied it to the other leg. Here I'm just placing my objects. If you want to know how I'm cutting these trees and all of that, I have a video called how to cut anything in Photoshop. It's on the channel. I'm just setting now the overall scene by placing my objects. And now I have added the black and white adjustment layer at the top and now I'm fixing the values of my uh, objects. I'm trying to make the objects that's closer to the camera or to the eye uh, has more contrast and have more contrast and show a lot of details and the object that's uh, further from the camera that will lose contrast and will lose the details and now I'm fixing the colors I'm trying to uh, first I fix the color of the sky and then I try to apply the same color of the sky to uh, all of my other objects because it's the sky that will decide the uh, overall tone the, the overall uh, tune for the uh, other objects and for the shadow I just click and hold control and then I select the objects and then I add the new layer beneath it and I fill it with black I tied it with the control T the transformation and then I select it and I add uh, brightness or sometimes I uh, add levels sometimes I add exposure uh, every time uh, I change the adjustment layer as you can see at the layer uh, right there I'm using the mask from this layer and I just used the legacy and I made it less brighting less bright and I decreased the contrast so it's not too harsh and we still can and we still can see the color on the shadows and this is my shadow technique for all the other uh, objects now I'm trying to keep the yellow color on my model here I'm trying to add uh, the uh, moonlight reflect on my tree and i will do the same to the all the other objects because the source of light is coming from the top this is why i'm doing that and for other reason too i'm uh, trying to separate uh, my objects from the background because if you fix the values and you give uh, the same values in the same area then the objects start to uh, fade because they have the same value so i 
separate them by adding a uh, light reflection at the top. Here I did the uh, clouds trick and I have a lesson about it on the channel. It's called how to add uh, clouds and blend them in the, the videos. I'm going to leave the, the, the link in the description. I did the same technique just to cover the moon. Here I'm just fixing the uh, colors of the moon and giving it more light. And now I'm trying to add some haze at the top of the trees just by assembling a color from uh, the sky and then using the gradient tool, to, uh, the transparent one, and then I drag it from the top to the bottom and I will, I'm will. i just trying to fill the upper areas of the trees. I'm now doing the same to the car as I, as I said before. If you fix the values and you give the uh, objects in the same areas the same value, then I try to add light reflection from the top just to separate my objects from the uh, rest of the scene. And also because we have the moon coming uh, from the top. And now I'm adding the uh, lights for the uh, for the car. And the way to do it is I selected the light of the car and I duplicated. I made it on linear dodge and I give it more contrast with the console L, the levels, and I duplicate it again and I blurred it just to add that uh, glow uh, of uh, the car light. Here I didn't like that the model was beside the card, so I just mm, made them uh, in front of it. And here I tried to uh, add the reflection of the model just by uh, dragging uh, the ground at the top and then I went to channels and I selected the channel with more contrast between the water and the mud and yeah I just selected like that and if you want to know more about the color channels just uh, check my how to cut anything video actually that was the hardest part of this artwork me trying to add uh, a accurate uh, reflection of the model I'll be back to it later so here um, I duplicated the uh, ground layer and I made it brighter just to add uh, the colors uh, the color and the brightness of the car light just for some uh, realism if you have made it this far into this video make sure to like and subscribe it's free easy and really supports us and without any further ado let's continue with the video as you can see I duplicated the ground layer I put it on screen blender mode and I give it just a bit of uh, contrast by uh, using Control L, which is levels. As you can see here, I added the uh, brightness, and with Control B, color balance, I give it the uh, color of uh, the car light. And here I'm painting uh, on the car with the brightness and contrast, as you can see here, and with the same mask. And if you want to duplicate the mask on other adjustment layer, just click and hold Alt. Click the mask and drag it to the other layer and with the color balance I give it the color red. Here I tried to add the car lights and this is one of the mistakes that I did. So before I uh, make the artwork on the channel, I post it on Facebook first to see what the mistakes that I have made. And one of the mistakes is the car light and we are going to talk about it when I come back to it. Here I'm trying to add the light that's coming from the top as I told you before to separate my objects from the scene on the model. And I use the same technique for uh, the um, shadows as I did with the car. And here I'm trying to create the car lights. Uh, the first try was not good so I left it to after. So here I'm just adding fog between my ground and uh, the background because as you can see the harsh edge of the ground uh, didn't work uh, too well so I added fog to cover it just with the uh, tight brush and as you can see the flow is on 5%. Here I came back to add the car lights and uh, by the way I didn't look at any reference or uh, I'm not that good with the cars I don't understand car lights and people told me that the Mercedes cars should be like casting lights too far and I just did it casting the lights down and what I did is I placed uh, the car reflection at the ground and then I took that mask and I added the curves adjustment layer and as you can see I took the point up to add brightness I added a color balance adjustment layer and I clipped it to the curves just to give it just a bit of blue color to, uh, of the car. And here I tried to add the like the flashlights effects 
that's coming from the car. Here I'm trying to add the lights of the car uh, reflection on the model coat. I gave it more fade, less contrast because he's uh, further from uh, the eyes. And I did the same with the trees. I'm adding a uh, color reflection from the top because the source of light is coming from the top. Now I didn't like the reflection on the car as you can see so I tried to hide it. And we'll do that more uh, when we are finished and at the very end. It was a decent try but I wanted to uh, do more uh, at the end of this artwork when I finished. Here I tried to add the reflection of the mud area but it didn't work and here I add the uh, epic overlay bundle from Neostock as I, you can see I used the fog I set the value and the color and I hide it for to add it later when we are finished with all of the objects and here I tried to add get rid of the reflection on the car window just with the gradient I assembled the colors from the car window the original colors and uh, yeah, I just painted with the uh, gradient tool with the transparent I dragged this from the top of the window till the bottom of it and I added a, a new noise texture just to add a bit of realism and also I added a cloud texture too so it doesn't look like it was just a gradient and noise will add some realism to that here I added the texture of rain dropping on a window and I applied it to the jacket of my model as if it was raining before I don't know why I forgot to add rain it was supposed to be a rainy image and here I'm just painting some inner glow to the model, sampling color from the background and painting on his edges. And as I said before, this reflection gave me the hardest time. I just gave up on it and went with whatever. Here I tried to add this zombie as if it was my model looking at some zombies, but yeah, let's just skip that because it didn't work. As you can see, I did all of these things. I fixed the colors, the values, but it didn't work. Here I got this plants just to give it a feel like he was uh, riding on a road on a way <clears throat> sorry and it wasn't it wasn't just a uh, open space of a forest i added this plant at the uh, front just to give it uh, the depth of field it just for uh, some effects and here i got the idea of adding like my model was looking at a car that um, was in the way and there was blood coming from it because I didn't find another idea like my model was supposed to be looking at something. Here I tried to add light and all of that but something was wrong with it and is it that it was too close so you will see me. And here as you can see I took my car uh, to the distance and I wanted to be covered with the fog and here I added blood and as you can see I added this and as you can see that's blood trail coming from the car to the water and this is my favorite part where I finish with the image and I just start painting it painting some details with a random brushes uh, from my brush selection and here I didn't like the texture of the coat so I just start painting on it over it sorry to make it look like it was a concept art like to give it the painting feels here I tried to paint some new uh, details on his uh, pants, also on the car, and I painted over the uh, car uh, reflections, also on the ground. I Here I'm trying just to make this artwork to look like it was painted, also painting on the trees. And by the way, you don't need any painting experience, I just sample the color from an area and I just start clicking with the mouse and moving it. Here I added the fog again that I got from Neostock and here I'm getting rid of these highlight spots because it gave the feels like this scene we're in uh, the sunlight but we are in the night and here again I used the uh, I turned my uh, final image to smart object and then I applied the smart sharpen to it and as you can see on the smart filter right here, I used the mask just I want it to be applied on the uh, plants, the ground and the car and the model. So now the uh, smart sharpen is only applied on this front object. Okay everyone, this is the end of this video. If you liked it, I'm sure you like my previous ones. And 
Also check the other videos that I mentioned, how to cut anything in Photoshop and also how to add clouds. Don't forget to follow us on our social medias and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next videos. Peace.